Jeremy. This is Guitar Hunter, and in this case, is an incredible Gibson that just showed up. This thing showed up so fast, I did not even get to get my camera out. But let's talk about this wonderful mystery Gibson. This is the kind of video, this is the kind of guitar that I love making. This is why I got into doing YouTube. So buckle in, subscribe. I'm Jeremy, this is Guitar Hunter. Let's get into this thing. Look at that. Look at this thing. This is a Gibson B25 made in 1968. This was very much a student level guitar. And the chances are with this big pickguard up here that this guitar has been played as a lefty at some point in its life. But the double guard is an incredibly cool part of this guitar's history. This guitar has an adjustable bridge as a lot of guitars from the same time period would. This was a much more affordable way of making a guitar that could have the action that would come and go and change. Martin really missed out on this component of these guitars. Gibson really honed in on the idea that these guitars need to be tweakable. If you're gonna make affordable guitars, you need to make them able to go into a bunch of different climates, to a bunch of different playing styles. And so this guitar has the ability to raise and lower the action really easily. And then the truss rods up here, it's really easy. And uh, so in 1968, a student level guitar could really benefit and really, um, handle just the life that a guitar is going to have. So this guitar came to me uh, as a beautiful worn in, worn out kind of guitar and I bought it for one main distinct reason. This guitar has no cracks, no cracked headstock, no crack in the back, no crack in the sides, no overt abuse has happened to this guitar. This thing is remarkable. If this guitar is following the trend of guitars from the 50s and 60s from Martin, particularly the acoustic guitars, the sides are going to be laminate, the top will be solid, and the back will be solid. The front of the headstock is timeless and cool and beautiful. On the back, trustworthy, beautiful, reliable, uh, three on a plate, Cluson tuners. These are wonderful and they're great. Now on the back of the neck here, this is the part you really have to see. On the back of the neck, there is all of these pock marks. These come from a very specific kind of capo, and I'll show you that capo in a second, but all along the back of this. Some people view this as damage. For me, this is the fact that this guitar has been played and used, and whoever played this wanted to learn every single song that they knew that they wanted to learn how to play. How did this guitar come to me? This guitar came from a patron and a friend. This came from Chad and uh, Chad Alexander. He's an amazing musician. I'll put his stuff up here, down there, in the description, all over, all the places you can find it. This neck is so skinny, so yes, I'm playing sloppy. I'm working on it, but man, skinny neck.
guitar showed up. It had one main thing that is different and there's now a hole in it to, uh, to prove. So this guitar had a pickup in it. It had a sound hole, like an M80 pickup, like the, I'll, whatever, You've, it's, a, it's an LR bag sound hole pickup. I w didn't care one way or the other if that pickup stayed, but, uh, but Chad really wanted a pickup into the Martin. So at the last second, we couldn't quite come to your guitar and this much money. And he said, okay, I'll give you this guitar and that much money, but I need to keep the pickup. So he kept the pickup. And uh, so we took the pickup out of it. We put it into the HD 28 and uh, everybody was happy. Now, the uh, million dollar question. Am I happy with this guitar? What's wrong with this guitar? What's, you know, wh why, why, why would you do this? Um, the last thing that I found that was wrong, there's only a couple things that are actually wrong with this guitar. Um, one piece has been changed, one thing has been added, and one thing needs to get fixed. So, in this order, number one, the number one thing that needs to get fixed is that this bridge is lifting up. So right here in the corner, now this is a very minor issue. I'm not actually that worried about this. The second thing that's been added to this is obviously this right-handed or this left-handed pickup up on the top side. Now that probably takes some of the tone away, but I think it adds so much mojo because if you can see in 1968, this would have had the other logo. So there is a Gibson logo on that headstock and I think that is so cool. The last thing that has been swapped is the saddle here is actually one of the modern Tusk replacements. And so it's interesting. One thing that needs to be fixed, one thing that was replaced, and one thing that was added. How much will this cost if you want to buy this guitar and who gets first crack at it? Well, here's the thing. The first group of people that I let know when I get a cool guitar for sale are my patrons and channel members. So if you want the first crack at one of these, you need to become a channel member or a, a member of a channel member or a patron because both of those you get both you get first price and first crack at it and you get a very special price. I give serious discounts to patrons because I want to say thank you to the people that support this channel. I want to find cool guitars and I can't keep all of them. Um, yeah, gotta catch them all. That's not true. I'm not a Pokemon man. I'm a guitar man and with that, things gotta go. So, this thing will be for sale to patrons and channel members and I'm going to be asking Tulanti. I don't want to say a number. I'll be saying a number. If you hunt guitars for long enough, they will start just finding you. This one literally found me. It came to me and it just worked out. And so hone the skills of becoming really good with people and really good with guitars. If you need help with either of those, I can teach you. I have a course called Write Guitars Faster. It is an easy course that walks you through the whole process of buying the right guitars, building a collection of guitars that matter and you love, and then selling the guitars that aren't right for you along the way so that you end up with a, a collection of guitars that if you die, if you were just zapped out of a room, people would know who you are, what you care about, what you value, and what you wanted to do in the world. So yeah, that's the kind of guitar collection you deserve. And that's the thing that'll help you figure out. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. This is a B25. Bada bing, bada boom. See you in the next video. Become a channel member, become a patron, get early access to these guitars.
This is Guitar Hunter, and in this case is a beautiful, wonderful Gibson that all of us need to know more about. <laughs> I... I hate it. I hate... I hate it. I hate it. There you go.